Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Tonight I'm making another recipe out of his mom's den. And it's using this apron squash. I've never used them before. I mean, y'all can give me, tell me some stuff that you use it for because I don't know that I'd use it again. It's hard to cut. But David might have to cut it for me. That's the first time I ever seen one of them things. You're supposed to cut them down in these things here. Look, yonder it's got seeds in it like a pumpkin. I know I'm going to take them out. And I know you want them, right? Yeah, save them for me. <laughs> I may take them down there and plant them. Okay, I saved part of this so you can see in case you've never seen one of these kind of things with seeds. It's easier if you take a spoon, they come right out. Oh. Even for me, it's pretty easy. You just have to give it. It's just like a pumpkin. Yeah, it looks like a pumpkin. It's just it? like yeah. a pumpkin, though. Seed and a pumpkin. It's easy to... You usually get pumpkin kits or whatever, but if you don't, look at here. This works right here. I wonder if we grew any of them, the deer would eat them. There's a lady that I went to a yard sale to one time that... She had several different things, in her, and I was thinking about that. And the deer did eat the leaves and stuff off of it, but it didn't eat the fruit. They're just about like a goat anymore. They'll eat anything. Eating everything. Is... <laughs> I mean, stuff they ain't even supposed to eat. They really are. What was those special flowers you had that time? And I don't know, but I didn't realize that hydrangea was... I didn't realize it wasn't deer proof, but it isn't. Maybe we'll plant some of those and it'll distract them from the other stuff. These are really hard to cut, so if you've never used these, maybe you shouldn't try because if you've got hand problems, mine's okay right now because I have injections. Probably be about the spring when it's time to plant something. And I don't plant that much because I'm just not able to take care of it with my back, but yeah. baby, show them my shoes. You might have to zoom in on them. Can you see them? Yeah. They got kitchen tools on them. Everything. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> Where'd you get them at? Easy spirit. Listen, one time... Is that the ones I got for you for Christmas? Not these. These aren't. Oh. This one isn't. Now, this says to do it in half-inch pieces. That's small, but that's what it takes to cook it because it's hard. Gotta sneeze. <coughs> I think I'm coming down with something. I hope not. Oh Lord, I pray you don't. I just pray that you don't. Me too. I like to use this baby. Oh, I thought something was dumping on my head, you see. <laughs> I kind of thought I should well, have It's sort of like an avalanche in here, you never know. <laughs> May I start wearing a hard helmet? But I guess you wouldn't know why, would you? I gave him coffee and milk today, and I'm sure he's had a drink, and he didn't carry none of it back to the kitchen. And I carried it to him, so I think he's lazy. I think he's getting lazy on me. Well, I didn't feel good today. You notice I ain't been outside and done no work. Hey, I always do it. I always do it. Now, don't I? But it's Sunday. You're supposed to rest. Don't I get to rest, too? <laughs> well, do I not get to rest on Sunday? No. Nope. I very rarely do. You know that. He he don't usually rest a lot. I have to fuss at him to get him to do it, and then he hollers at me for fussing at him, and then I don't know. I might be cutting some of these smaller than a half an inch, but they don't cook that long, so we want to make sure they cook. There's always something to do. <laughs> okay, look. Maybe I could cut them easier like this. Kind of hard on the thumb. I don't know if mom ever made this or not, but it's her. I'm used to this kind of knife, and I very rarely watch me cut myself, but I very rarely cut myself with these knives. Well, where's your fancy one you found in the parking lot? It's right here. I'd rather have it to cut those things. They're hard. You may do it. You might have to. Well, didn't you see what I told you you had to do? <clears throat> Cut them in those seams there. Well, I call it a seam, but it says a 9 by 13 by 2. This is it. Looks like cantaloupe. Oh, this is my pretty one. It's got 
uh, the fruit pattern. It's supposed to match those fruit pattern dishes over there, but it don't really. I wonder what happened if you ate one of them wrong. Most of the time, don't stuff like that don't hurt you. What's it taste like? A pumpkin? No, it don't really have no taste, to be honest. You know what? When I was taking the seeds out of that first one, it kind of reminded me it smelled like butter. It was something about it that smelled... Well, it's got a taste now as you crunch it on down. Crunch it down. <laughs> kind of tastes like candy or something. I think it'll be good. Eat your piece of it and try it. No, that's okay. I got a tooth hurting. This is the first time we ever fooled with anything like this, but we'll let it know if it turns out good or if it turns out bad. We're just going to be honest about My it. My teeth seems to be going bad, and I'm, I'm hated. I've always had really gorgeous teeth. And when I was looking it up, and apparently RA can do that to you. Cause it's uh, problems in the gums and stuff in the joints. Yeah, I hope not. I don't know. I hope not to. And now dental work is so daggone expensive. You used to get decent insurance, and now you're paying a lot for it, and it ain't all that good. Yeah, everything's gotten so weird. Okay, I got a little start on it, so maybe I can get it. Kind of looks like a giant apple. Cut that off. That might help. I might cut that off too. See if it. Oops. Hey, at least it landed on the green part, but I'm still going to wash it real good. You may do it. No, yeah, it's alright. I don't know if I can do any better than you can, to be honest. Same anymore, the way my hands are. And that's kind of weird. I had trouble with them last night. They stayed asleep. And I had that carpal tunnel surgery done, and that one did good all the way up till last night. Ain't that Sometimes weird? Sometimes it comes back, and now it's so scary doing anything like that because they don't put you to sleep. And I'm not doing that no more. Don't give you no. Cynthia said that shouldn't be like that, but anyhow, that's my daughter. And she seems to think that there's one that still does kind of put you to sleep or. They never gave him no pain mess or nothing, but she said there's a lot of them that is encouraging no pain mess and to use Tylenol stuff. They probably said a poor old dumb hillbilly ain't worried about putting him in no pain medicine. He ain't got enough sense to know what it was. <laughs> I know one thing, it hurt bad. That's why I'll never Man, do it he again. He woke me up. He was in such bad shape. I felt sorry for him and... He wouldn't take. He had some pain medicine, but he didn't like how it made him feel. So. Oh, that was from the hernia operation. Yeah, and he didn't finish taking it because he didn't like it. And I said, "Well, I tried to get him to take one of mine, which was hydrocodone at that time." I ain't taking nothing. And he wouldn't. And but right. after this, after that so, night, it got better, a little bit better each so day. So does this go on the three fifty? You said. Yeah, it's already on it. What about this old thing right here? Where you yeah, put it in? You better not get it. If I need to heat water in it, I will, but I better not catch a dinner on that wood stove again. Have you ever used it? Yeah, I have. I don't remember you ever using remember it. Remember when our teapot went out? And I got another, and now I don't know how that thing works. That water, and it will, that coffee pot too, we'll have to get a new one of that. It won't take long. I guess the water's treated good, but it's got so much yeah, stuff it, in it. It needs a softener. Anyway, yeah. get, get back to to the thing here. It builds stuff up in it quick. And this right here, half an inch, that might be too big. I want it to not be crunchy like that one thing we did. It tasted good, but it was crunchy, and David loved it. He swore in it whole, I reckon. <laughs> But I make you sure. Either had to chew it or swallow it whole. But it makes you wonder: it was it supposed to be crunchy, or was it not supposed to be crunchy? Because we don't know. Done what the recipe said. So it, we both swallowed it whole. I reckon it was good. I thought it was good. It was the cabbage wasn't completely done, was it? Yeah. That's what it was. The cabbage wasn't completely done, and it was still or good. The, the breaded part. Breaded part. It was like a breaded part. 
Let's show, let me go ahead and show this right here. And so, I'll get it over here somewhere. He's got his pajamas and cowboy boots on tonight. All right, I'm gonna, I'll have to let you read it, I reckon, but I'll just go and do it one time like that. Someone said that mom had nice writing, and she did, until she got a lot older, and then it was really hard to read stuff. I think a lot of her problem was she didn't have good glasses. She needed some better glasses, and not that she didn't get them, but she'd lose them. And well, all this stuff is really and old. She'd misplace them, then she couldn't see to find them. That right there says, it's got something about chili on it. This one here, I don't know what else, this one. Spicy applesauce. So maybe we'll do a few of these, you know, and then we'll go back into other stuff or something. Though that one's the spicy uh, applesauce we should do in the fall. banana bread. Of course, there's a lot of them in here. It's from newspaper clippings and how much? How many? How much bananas do you need on the banana bread? I don't know. Well, if you look, I got a banana that's getting ripe. You, you told the recipe, didn't you? Well, I was just showing a few things we got in there. Oh. So this one's called acorn squash bake. Okay, there's that. I need a little bowl. Let it fall back here. I don't know if that would be... Let me see if this one will work. I got two tablespoons of melted butter. I put more in there because... Part of it pops up on whatever you got it on. And I cut it in little teeny tiny, almost minced it. And I got three quarters of a cup of maple sugar, maple syrup. I'm going to tell you. This, oh, yeah, that's right. Remember me telling you about this recipe, David? To me, if you don't have some of this stuff at home already, it's going to cost a lot to make it. True. Because I couldn't find a smaller bag of nuts, and David was getting aggravated, and I'm like, you're buying? Yeah, okay. Then I don't care what you buy. You pay yep. a fortune for it. We got the real maple syrup, not the fake. And it was organic, too. Okay, that bottle probably costs 3 or $4. Nipper, what's your problem? She's standing there hollering up at him. She loves him so much. The other two loves him a lot too, but they just, they eat and go to sleep. That's all they care. She just likes, she, she likes a lot of attention. And so does the other, the other girl. Now the male one, he just don't care either way. He wants to eat and take him a bath and go to bed. Okay, it says to pour this over top of those. It doesn't have very many ingredients. It so, just costs a lot to... So what is that? Just plain old syrup? It's maple syrup and butter. And then you know them high dollar nuts. That was about $12 worth, thing. Could you put all that in there? No, I just told what I had. That's the syrup? This is the syrup and butter mixed up. Three quarters cup of maple syrup. Two tablespoons of butter melted. I don't think I got it on all of them. Let's make sure all of them's coated. Okay. Don't leave an ants nothing to eat here. How about that? <laughs> I said something. something about the ants that time. You didn't have to. Yeah, I'm going to leave them something I'll to I'll wash that in a few minutes. I'll take off a few days. We'll go somewhere and I'll light off some bums in here. Some bums? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was bombs. Bombs, you said whatever. Bums. Whatever. Some bums. I feel like a bum today, just lazy and lazy old bum. Okay, then we have one third cup of chopped up pecans, and I'm supposed to sprinkle them on there. Real ones, not fake ones. What do you mean? You mean they make fake pecans? Well, they make everything fake now. <laughs> I've never seen it, David. Well, they do. Them bacon bits and all that stuff is well, fake. Well, yeah, those, but, I mean. No, no, the ones I buy at Sam's ain't. No. They're not. They're real. Kitty. 
you want real ones anyway, you just cook you some bacon and chop it up. That's all you gotta do. I fixed the thing up. It was Curtis bacon today, wasn't it? Nipper, what's wrong? What's wrong? No. What do you want? Did you say outside? No. You ain't going outside. The wind's blowing real hard. It's cold and somebody will have you for supper tonight, girl. Okay, these goes on there. 350, which I have the oven on. Excuse me, David. I'm going around here to get some foil. I'm going to cover it and that way I know that... She wants some of this acorn squash. She might have to cook. Who knows what they're going to want from that here and there. They eat all kinds of stuff anymore. But that girl has got the munchies, the one you heard hollering. And she's had the munchies the last two or three days. And I've opened two cans of food for them. That's just their morning stuff. And in the early morning, they were eating two cans with her eating the most of it. I wonder why she's so hungry all the time for here lately. Know. She's a little tiny thing. She used to look like she was pregnant all the time. What else you got in there? Car chops. Oh, Don't I, you smell them? I thought I smelled something down there and it didn't make no sense because you ain't cooked nothing down there. Okay, it also said to add some salt, but I, salt, I don't know. Add it when you get ready to eat it, I reckon. Not as good as it is, but if it's hot, it'll still dissolve. <coughs> so it said uh, one and a half pound of squash, one third cup of maple flavored syrup, three fourths cup of maple flavored syrup, okay? And it said salt to taste. Two tablespoons of butter or margarine, or margarine, and I, it does not say what to do with it, so I melted it. One third cup of pecans chopped. Cut squash in one half inch pieces, arranging a nine by thirteen by two inch. That's a typical nine by thirteen, you know. Most of them don't go less than two. Sprinkle with salt. You better get it back out then. I'm. Um, I'll. Okay, all right then. We'll f finish reading that thing, I guess. Or <laughs> I had to figure out some of it. I All right, arrange in a 9 by 13 by 2 inch sprinkle with salt. Combine syrup and butter, pour over squash, sprinkle with chopped pecans, and cover. Bake at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes. Says it yields 6 to 8 people. See, some of these she probably wrote down, you know, from my aunt, my great aunt. And made, and I've never made them. I don't know because I don't remember nothing like that. Why well, the expensive recipe if you don't already have this stuff I, at Honey, home, I, I don't know. The only thing I remember is beans and turnips. Which I would have stayed in that store all night long until I found what I was looking for. And I remember Hamburger Helper once, and we thought we was in a fancy restaurant then. Of course, we never had no fancy restaurant, but beans, taters, turnips. Did you know a hamburger what? helper, and that's all I can remember, especially the bean part and cabbage. That's it. That's all we had. So I don't, I don't know where she got these from. If she ever used them or not. Yeah, you know I mean that's her writing. But that looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm not. I wasn't shaking it hard. So, <clears throat> um, David, I don't ever remember going to a fancy restaurant or any either. kind of restaurant. I ain't either. When we took no. a trip from Virginia to Greensboro, North Carolina, to Pennsylvania to West Virginia, and we even come to Roanoke some, or well, we went to Roanoke some, and um, we had family all over the place, but we lived in Pennsylvania when I was real little. Huh. Because I remember How long y'all stay up me and my brother. How long was y'all up her? I don't know, but Daddy worked in a mushroom place. Which Mushroom. is, hey, good honest work. It don't matter what it is. Good old honest work is work. Huh. And you should never be shamed about that, right? Yeah, I know. Buddy. I mean, nothing the wrong with mushrooms, honey. Oh, we like them. He so, likes them cooked. I cook them in so some wine and water. And is this you and your brother was the only one born? 
So that she wasn't just that. Him. Yeah. I remember. That had to be a long time I ago. I have a real good memory on that because, of course, we were little. Um, that might have been. Mommy was telling me something about not wanting to keep my clothes on, and every time she turned around, I had my clothes off. <laughs> And it seemed to me like she told me that we live there in Pennsylvania. I don't know which place in Pennsylvania, but... Um, well, I remember the first restaurant I ever went to, uh, me and the boys got together when we were young, and, and we had two carloads, my buddy's mother and his aunt, and they took, took us all down to a rock and roll concert, our first one concert, and then we went to a Burger King. And man, I thought I was in some kind of fancy place there, you know. And I, I felt underdressed and all this. And it was this Burger King. But that was a long time ago. Well, we would stop wherever there was a KFC. And usually that would be from Greensboro, Virginia, Virginia, Greensboro. I don't remember them. We lived in West Virginia in two places. And one of them was back in the middle of the coal fields. Believe it or not. My dad and one of his sisters lived together a lot. And these was ones I call my sister cousins. I also lost one of them right before mommy. So... I miss her, and I didn't get to go to her funeral because I was taking care of my mother. <coughs> but she was, uh, we, that was called Rodale, and we lived in Oakville. And in Oakville, we would walk to this little store. I know I've told y'all before about this woman who would eat this raw hamburger, just get her a big old ball of it, stick it in her gum, jaws like tobacco, and I'm like, ugh. And, of course, we'd go to get hamburger, and she'd get the hamburger, but then she'd puff a big old pike in her mouth, and I'm like, oh, you could eat that? It ain't even cooked. Oh, it's good. And my mom told me that my grandmother done that, too, that she'd eat raw hamburger when she was pregnant. She was craving it one time, and I said, ooh. Now, what's wrong with you? I don't know, but anyhow, <laughs> I don't remember ever Mad cow disease. any restaurants except from Virginia, North Carolina, backwards and forwards. We had family both places, and we lived both places. So we'd stop at KFC and get the chicken and eat it in the car on the way. We didn't go in. Daddy went in and got it, come back, and we ate it. And a lot of times I'd want a biscuit because I don't eat chicken skin and none of that old You still like biscuits. Yeah, but I like Bojangle biscuits. Mm -mm, theirs is good. But you don't like the chicken as well as you do the KFC. I do like the chicken, and I like it KFC chicken, too. But you like Since I Bojangle eat, biscuits but better than KFC it, biscuits. I like the chicken. I don't eat the skin, so it doesn't matter. It's deep fried. I know. It's more for me. Coo -coo -coo. I eat the chicken breast. That's all I eat when I cook it. Yeah, I know. Okay, I didn't put the timer on this. I wonder what time it is. I don't know. I don't either. Well, we'll just have to find out and see. Well, you think it's been in about five did, minutes? Did you put the salt on it? Yes. You didn't watch me? My brain's gone. I can't think of nothing. <laughs> He's fried and didn't even do drugs. <clears throat> Our worried come with us. A lot of old timers on mm -hmm. our no, side. He is and his family. I told him, yeah, I was I, telling him, our dad was really worried about him. And I do get worried about that. You know, I was thinking about that the other day. My memory getting all bubered up and i mean you just think your aunt bonnie was taking care of her mama and her sister june yeah she lived at june's but bonnie would go give june a break yeah, she kind of went down pretty quick and bonnie went pretty quick and his grandmother had alzheimer's david's grandmother had alzheimer's great grandpa bonnie, did too and bonnie's like yes all the time and she can't yeah, it's, it's, i'm it's trying terrible. to help her do everything she has to do okay. you well, know and well. but anyhow I enjoy listening to the stories on both sides of the family. Great grandpa uh, had to pick up grandpa's pickup and a big old butcher knife in it, cutting out the seat. And grandpa got his arm, and said, "Dad, what are you doing?" And he said, "Cutting it out and going to put a milk can in it." For those who don't know what a milk can is, it's the cans that milk used to come in. You used to put the when you milked your cows, you put it in a milk can. Oh, yeah, that one I got out there. Yeah. Somebody gave it to me. Yeah. I want to paint it, send it, and paint it. All right, we'll I'd do like it. I paint somewhere. Okay. Okay, y'all, we'll be back when this gets done, okay? Be about 30 minutes. 30. Okay, time's up, so I'm going to get them out. 
quick. The steam fogs up my glasses. Or the heat from the oven. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, look. Ooh, they're real tender. Oh, it smells that good. That syrup is not... You know, I guess it's going to be... That's a lot of syrup still in there. I believe... I mean, I had a little more than a pound and a half, but should buy a two-pound one, and that way, time you take all the pillings and the seeds away, you'll still have a pound and a half. Well, it smells good. It really does. It smells delicious. It kind of smells like applesauce. <clears throat> about that let's give you some of this to try going to guinea pig me huh yep what's done with all that syrup that we're not going to be eating well don't give me a lot of that on I don't know what of the syrup I'll drink the syrup <laughs> that's not that it's sweet maple syrup just don't taste like other syrup it's good I might have cut them in two smaller pieces, but that way I know they get done. Mm -hmm. Do I want the syrup to go with it? Yeah, I'll try it one time. Like I'm sure it's got it in there with it. Well. Mm hmm? What's that mean? You don't like it? Mm hmm. What do you mean about that? It's all right. What it tastes like? Syrup. <laughs> Is that a whole syrup? Well, they should have a maple flavor in them. Let me try a second bite. Maybe it'll do better. Are we going to toss it? No, nah, we'll eat it. We don't throw nothing away. You know that. <laughs> That's a lot of syrup in there. I don't think we need it. Maybe you put too much. Uh-uh. It said, it said um, two-thirds cup. It looks watery, more watery than that. So what do you think? Where did all the liquid come from? The mm -hmm. syrup is not thick as other syrups of maple, mm -hmm. is it? The second bite wasn't too bad. First bite, I personally, I like it without the syrup as much. The acorn uh, squash ain't bad, but I don't want all that syrup. That's me. You'll try it. You gonna give it a whirl? Yeah. I'll get my own spoon. You said you might be getting sick. Oh, that's right. I might have the cuties. You want to give it a try and see what you think? Yeah, let me try it. I'm not a fan of nuts in my food. I'm sorry. I'm just not, but... Yeah. Let me get a piece without the nuts. How about that? But y'all be eating the nuts anyway unless I scrape them all off of yours. The squash, ha the squash has a consistency of potato. Maybe sweet potato. I don't know. I like the syrup. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah, I mean, the syrup's okay and everything. It's just I don't like a lot of it. Um, well, these were cooked in that syrup, David. Yeah, I know that. That was the liquid they were cooked in, yeah, so I, in butter. I, I, I understand that. I just don't want a spoonful of syrup with it. Well, I did, and I got holes in this spoon. I know. David, that's the reason I picked this one, because I know that you don't like a lot of juice on anything. Well, I mean, it ain't too bad. I'd say give it a try. You might like it. I mean, it ain't really that bad, you know. I don't know why there's so much leftover syrup. I mean, it didn't thicken. Maybe that's how much liquid they thought. Whoever come up with this recipe, maybe it was... The I like liquid. I like the nut taste on it. That's I like that part. I don't like the taste of the 
squash. I don't I don't mind the taste of squash. Know. I don't care for it. Let me try this one. Well. Well, it could be a sweet potato. All right. I think it's okay. We've done a lot of shows. We've never done a thumbs down. So I'm just going to yeah, kind of do a... one I did not like at all, but I can't... Which one was it that I'm I just going to like? do a, like a half thumb. A half thumb. <laughs> so it really ain't that bad. Here's what I'm waiting for anyway. Woo, doggies. Pork chops. Yeehaw. Barbecue pork chops. They got a lot of liquid too. For some reason, this is thick when you put it over them. And then it gets juicy. And I probably used... I mean, I don't know. I don't want them to stick. All right. That's... Falling apart good. Yay. Well, we give our true opinion. I don't think I would like to squash with or without the syrup. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think, you know, it's not too bad. It would be better if so, some kind of potato cooked with some salt and butter. and. Well, maybe this is something other you can keep in the back of your mind. You might want to soup it up someday and do something different with it. I don't well, know. I mean, a lot of so, people, maybe you could put some... Um, Marshmallows on top of it too would be good. Then that would thicken the syrup. And a couple bags of cheese. You always like cheese, so two bags. Not with of sugar. Cheese. <laughs> Throw a couple bags of cheese That's on it. That up maple syrup tastes good. I love it. Maybe it's just something different. I ain't used to it. I don't think it's too bad. I don't think it's too good. But I, I mean, it's the consistency but, of it. You don't expect that consistency. Your mouth is not waiting on that consistency with sweet. Well, yeah, we ain't going to throw it away. We'll eat it. No, we'll eat it. Yeah, we'll eat it. It costs us an expensive recipe, if you ask me. It's an expensive one to make with the nuts and the syrup. Well, but, hey, uh, like Forrest Gump would say, you know, it's like a box of chocolates. I make homemade pancakes, and I made some pancakes. And we you just, don't know what you might get out of here. I know. So. We won't make it again, probably. What do you think? Well, you never know. We might accidentally adapt some kind of... Mmm. I really do like it. Let's give some to the cat and see what she does. Mmm. I don't know. We'll do it here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> She'll probably puke. Baby, she <laughs> sticks to her food mostly. She she does like sugar, though. Watch her. She'd lick some of that sugar. Uh, look, so, baby, she'd probably lick some syrup off of that. That cat's after my own heart. She loves me so much. Yeah. All righty. All righty. Hey, let me say this one more thing. She's... She stands at the bedroom door and watches me at night. Make sure nothing gonna hurt me, I reckon. I don't know. If I go in the living room or the bathroom or the bedroom, she goes Well, through. you know what they say about cats? That they'll take and, and while you're sleeping, they'll pinch your nose and suffocate you. And then I guess that was my number being called. Maybe death. she's waiting for her opportunity. I know a death seems kind of scary, but when you got Jesus, you don't have to be afraid. Nah, I'm just kidding around. They're not going to do that. They love us. Oh, I know, but I've heard of that, too. Oh, Thank have you? Breath. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, they lay up on top of my head and on my chest and my hip. If I turn over, nipper gets up on the bed, she ain't heavy. All right, y'all. It's been real. And um, thank you all for the gifts and the cards. It's, it's so nice of you. We appreciate it. And uh, God bless all of you. Please stay safe. There's a lot of stuff going around and we don't want to lose nobody else. So y'all take care. God bless and we'll see you soon.